you know what i'm really shitty with these intros i was thinking for like 20 30 minutes how to do like a funny like rachel nichols joke because of you know the whole situation with her and jimmy butler but i couldn't make it funny it's whatever you just just know that the attempt was made all right all right but listen what is going on guys welcome back today we have the jimmy butler build in nba 2k22 it is a perimeter lockdown and i honestly dig this build like it's got a good face creation going on with it it looks like jimmy butler and the build also plays like Jimmy Butler. It has elite defense while also having pretty average, well, I wouldn't say average, I would say above average offensive capabilities while all of those capabilities being around at the same attribute level. So you can see this right here. All of the finishing is in like the mid 70s. All of the shooting's in like the mid 70s and so is the playmaking, but then we get to the defense and everything's elite. 85 perimeter, 85 lateral, 89 steal. It's a perimeter lock, but it's pretty efficient on offense as well. We get really good dunk packages with this build. We get DeMar DeRozan. We get quick drops off one, which is a really big one. And if you know Jimmy Butler, you watch Jimmy Butler. He loves doing two hands for safety whenever he drives to the basket. As you can see, the bad spread right here, we have Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame defense. And this is going to come real clutch when we're playing, especially with randoms that we're able to lock down on the defensive end and still be able to score on the offensive end. But let me show you guys how to make this build really quick before we get to some gameplay all right so here's how we're gonna make this jimmy butler build we're gonna make it as shooting guard and just a little bit of a disclaimer there's two heights you can make this at you can make it at six foot six or six foot seven six foot seven is jimmy butler's height in real life but i think the build is better at six foot six now when it comes to the skill breakdown we're going to go with the hall of fame shooting hall of fame defensive pie chart and on the physical profile we're going with the pure speed pie chart which is the first one available when it comes to the finishing you're going to max out your close shot driving layup driving dunk standing dunk and then you're going to move your post hook up just to get six finishing badges when it comes to shooting you're going to increase your mid-range your three-pointer and upgrade your free throw to a 67 so you can get 12 hall of fame shooting and then when it comes to playmaking, max out your pass accuracy, your ball handle, and then increase your post control until you get 12 playmaking badges. And then on defense, max out your perimeter quickness, your perimeter quickness, Jesus. Sorry, it's late at night, I'm a little tired. Anywho, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal, defensive rebound, and then put the rest on block. Like I said, make the height six foot six. It gets you access to better dribble sigs, minimum weight, and you can max out the wingspan if you want. You can go max wingspan. I went one other, one under maximum wingspan because this allows you to get sharp shooting takeover on the build, which I think encompasses Jimmy Bucket, <laughs> Jimmy Buckets, Jimmy Butler really well because he can get you those clutch buckets so you can activate that sharp shooting takeover and get those clutch buckets. You can hit the nice little mid-range fadeaway. You can hit a step back three when you need those buckets. The build name is a perimeter lockdown, which I think is close to how Jimmy Butler is and let me show you what badges i would recommend to use on this build if it's fully maxed out when it comes to finishing limitless takeoff on gold so the finisher on gold you're good to go that's all you need shooting hot zone hunter sniper is necessary i like running difficult shots i like shooting dribble pull-ups and step backs in the mid-range so you don't have to do that but that's what i do when it comes to playmaking max out handles for days quick first step unpluggable and bullet passer and then defense max out your interceptor your clamps your pickpocket Put chase down artist on bronze and then the rest you can kind of do with whatever you want put maybe one bronze badge on ankle braces oh wait let me let me fix this up hold on we need intimidator on hall of fame intimidator on hall of fame is actually really really good now especially since they patched it that intimidator now works on jump shot contests at the perimeter it's no longer just for paint defense it works in the perimeter as well so having hall of fame defense really helps when sh contesting shots at the perimeter so that's pretty much for the build but now let's get into some gameplay all right so when it comes to gameplay i actually don't have a lot of defensive highlights i was playing this early in the morning right when i got up and i was just trying to play some 2k the guy gets a poster on the first possession so i feel like i need to dunk as well and get my buckets as you can see we're doing this during dunk fest he gets a nice other a nice dunk again going up against my um my teammate and you're gonna see throughout these two games that I played with this squad, RPG was not it. He was not good. He was an offensive threat and he couldn't play defense either. He let open a wide open three. He couldn't make his own buckets on offense as you're seeing again here. He's getting locked up on the screens. He's getting double teamed. He finally realizes maybe he should kick it out to the uh, person on the wing and he greens that shot. I green that shot and we get that three pointer. And right here again, this man right here has got absolutely no movement. Negative 10 ball movement, all right, listen. 
<laughs> this man does not know how to dribble. He's kicking it to the corner. He pumps it back out to me. I got to try and get a bucket somehow. He's coming right up in front of me. He wants the ball back, but he can't get open. So I got to ignore him. I get the bucket there. I kick it out to him on this possession. He hits a white, gets the three-pointer. And that's the thing with him, too. He could not green a single shot to save his life. Again, here, Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for gets. Any Bulls fans will, will know what I'm referencing to when I say that. Pull him up in the corner. He hits a green. Finally, I actually lied. He actually did hit a green once out of two games. But, uh, yeah. No, we get a nice little defensive stop here. He hits the white. This ends the first game. And now we're moving on to the second game. Second game, again, very similar to the first. On offense, I was pretty much the only person that can get buckets. I was hoping that the big man would see me leaking out to the corner there if my defender decided to stay inside. And he could have hit me on the wing, but I... He chose not to pass. He tries to go up with a contested shot. It's all right. Right here again on offense, man. I feel like 115% responsible for trying to get every single bucket on the team from here on out. I get clamped there. Get to the little um, pick up ball animation. I get a little off ball movement towards the basket and I get a nice little bucket. Right here, I'm trying to get the dribble movement going a little bit. I see the big man slip. I hit him on the slip. We get the two-pointer there. This is a really good play right here. He misses that shot. I probably get a little bit of a ghost contest and now we're going downfield coast to coast. Let me hit him with a little speed boost to the right and a little reverse dunk right on the other person. It, it, it was a good little play right there. You probably saw that in the intro. Right here, I'm not playing the best defense, but he gets a forced ball pickup animation there. And again, defensively, they were just atrocious. He gets a 65% contested layup to go in. These guys were so bad, and we were stuck in this game just because of some 2K BS right here. I'm getting the ball on the fast break. Nice little quick drops. Two hands for safety, just like how Jimmy Butler would do in real games, man. Right here, we get the rebound. We're 6'6". We're big body. We know what we're doing. Right there, I see my man on the corner. He whites. Misses. It's all right. I'll get the board. Kick it out to the guy. The guy. He hits an early. Misses. And I'm like, all right, y'all. What are y'all? Can y'all please get a bucket? Poor favor. Hit a bucket. Right here, he's driving inside, getting double teamed. He kicks it out to me. I'm immediately getting boxed because I only have like four seconds to try and make a shot. And then he hits an actually really good step box shot here to um, get some points right here. I'm trying to combo up a little bit. This guy's pressing so high on me. Hit him with a little snatch back. Get him going the wrong way. And nice little layup. Nobody was contesting that. It's 13 to 19. This is final possession of the game. And um, yeah, so you got to see some of the offensive capabilities of this build. Hopefully I can get a better gameplay to show the defense because I was playing wreck with this build and I was averaging like five steals a game off of interceptor steals, off ball, and some really good steals in um, on ball situations. But you know, that's going to be it for this video. If you did, please, if you did like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.